Paul Klemke, Avaya Channel Systems Engineer. Today I would like to demonstrate the Flare Communicator for iPad. I've been trialing this application on the iPad for approximately two months and I found it usable and uh, very reliable, great audio quality and I've used it as my primary desk phone for the trial period. So today I would like to show how we can go to iTunes or the Apple App Store and download this application for, for your use. So if we access the Apple Store and we just do a, a search under Avaya, A-V-A-Y-A, you can bring up and show all the options for applications that are available on that application store, including the Flare Communicator for iPad, Sales Pro. We also have Performance Center provided there. So I have already downloaded the Avaya Flare, so let's go ahead and look at some of its features and functionality. So as we launch the Flare Communicator, we can see that we can pull up our Rolodex of our key contacts. When we set up the Flare Communicator, we want to set it up to be able to provide for phone calls, email, and instant messaging chat. So when you first set it up, you will be asked for some basic information that you may receive from your IT manager or telecom manager, such as the Communication Manager 6.0 server address and also the address of your presence server. Presence is going to give us that capability of seeing if somebody is at their desk and available for a call. After we put in our information, we can start to make calls. And the process for making calls is either finding the person within the Rolodex and dragging them into the spotlight, or we could launch a dial pad where we put in our number. Let's place a call to Kelly Moore via cam. Within our Rolodex of contacts, we can choose or select to either give her a call, send her an instant message chat, or send her an email. So to place a call, we just select our icon that looks like a phone. It brings her contact into the spotlight and launches that call. Some options that it adds are the ability for me to mute, pause, or do a keypad in case I hit an IVR where I have to put in some numbers. Good morning, this is Kelly. Hello Kelly, this is Paul Klemke. Hey Paul, what's up? We are demonstrating the Flare Communicator on iPad. Good. How's it going? It is going excellent. We appreciate that you answered, uh, answered the phone and, and helped us demonstrate uh, placing the call. So we will see you okay. later on this afternoon. Talk to you. Bye. Bye. And then we close off. It will also give us the ability to track and provide a detail of the calls we just placed. So if you want to go back, if I wanted to return that call that I had missed, or I wanted to give Kelly a quick call back, I could select the call that I had missed, just press that icon and it will launch that call to the person uh, that I had missed their call for. So it gives you that detail, the missed call detail, the calls received, uh, keeps a record of that for you. With the enterprise search, we can launch uh, a search for various directories and we can pull up and we can do a search by last name, first name, add people into our contact list and launch that for making calls. So I'm just going to quickly, before we close out, demonstrate the email application. So to launch email, we can launch the email icon and put in the name or if we select a name off of our Rolodex, it will pre-populate the names and we can select multiple people within our Rolodex to send to a group of people. So every name that we bring into the spotlight will add their name to that address on the, on the email. So let's close it out. Hopefully uh, we've demonstrated the usability of the Flare communicator on iPad and I ask you to download it soon. Thank you.